By the end of this video, you'll be able to calculate the sample mean and the population mean in any given exercise very easily. So first, let's look at the formulas. As you can see on the left hand side, we have the population mean formula, which is mu is equal to the sum of xi's over n, so the population size. And on the right hand side, we have the sample mean, which is x bar is equal to the sum of x size divided by the sample uh, size. Now this term here means the sum of, okay? So this means that we'll be summing i amount of observations. So for instance, if there are seven observations, we would sum x1 plus x2 plus x3 all the way up to x7. Now, the question is, what's the difference between the population and the sample? And this we need to have very clear in our minds. A population is the entire group that you want to draw conclusions about. A sample, on the other hand, is the specific group that you will collect data from. Say, for instance, you want to calculate the mean temperature in a given month. Well, the population would be the amount of days in the month. Okay. A sample, on the other hand, would be sum of the days from that month. This is what this exercise is all about. This exercise says calculate the mean of the temperatures for June in the table below. So we know there are 30 days in June. However, in the table, they only give us seven days. Therefore, we know that this is a sample from June. Okay. In that case, we know we have to use the sample mean formula, which is X bar is equal to the sum of X size over the sample size. Okay. And we know that the sample size is seven. Then what we also know well, let's denote the x i's, so this is clear in your mind. Here the variable is days, x is days. Therefore, x1 would be day 1, x2 would be day 2, and so on. x3, x4, x5, x6, x7. So, let's apply this to the formula. We have 23 degrees plus 24 degrees, plus 25, plus 19, plus 18, plus 29, plus 31. And we divide all these terms by the sample size, which is 7. Okay. If you sum up all of the terms above in the numerator, you should get 169 divided by 7. And this should give you about 24 14 degrees. Therefore, 24.14 degrees is the mean of the temperatures for June. Okay? So, that's it for this exercise. Let me know down in the comments if you have any questions, and I'll be happy to answer them.